What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. Recently I put together this all AMD black and red build and today it's time to test out some emulation on this rig. Now usually when I build a new PC and do some emulator testing on it, I show off N64, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Naomi, and Atomus Wave, but all of that stuff runs perfectly fine on this. This is more than powerful enough to play those lower end emulators, even at 4K. So in this video, I'm just going to be sticking to the higher end, harder to run emulators like GameCube, Wii, Wii U, PS2, and PS3. I've already created a full build video and PC gaming test on this rig here, but I just want to go over the specs real quick. For the CPU, we have the Ryzen 3600, 6 cores, 12 threads. The GPU is an ASRock Phantom Gaming 5500 XT, 8GB model, 16GB of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz, a Gigabyte X470 Ultra Gaming Motherboard, 960GB Kingston SSD, an EVGA fully modular 550 watt power supply, and the case is a Fantex P300. And the operating system I'm running is Windows 10 Pro. Now, if you're interested in checking out the performance of this machine with just straight up PC games, I will leave a link to that video in the description. But now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into some emulation testing. So first up, we have the Dolphin emulator using the Vulkan backend, upscale to 4K, no trouble at all with this harder to run GameCube game. This is Auto Modalista. Basically, with a system like this, as long as the GameCube game is compatible with the Dolphin emulator, you'll have no trouble running it at 720p, 1080, 1440, and even 4K, as you can see here. So with GameCube out of the way, it's time to test out a Wii U game with the Dolphin emulator. Same settings, Vulkan back in, upscale to 4K, getting a constant 60 FPS. Same deal here, as long as the Wii game is compatible with the Dolphin emulator, it's going to run at full speed on this system. Time to move up to something a little harder to run. Here we have some PS2 using the PC SX2 emulator. I'm using the development builds 1.5, DirectX 11, 1440p, Gran Turismo 4, runs flawlessly here. I'm actually pretty impressed. Now using DirectX 11 with this 5500 XT, you'll get 1440p no trouble at all. But if you want to use OpenGL, you will have to drop it down to 1080p, and you'll see that in the last game I test with the PC SX2 emulator, which is Shadow of the Colossus. Overall, I'm really impressed with the PS2 emulation performance of this PC, and most of this performance that you're seeing here comes down to the CPU I'm using. 6 cores, 12 threads, boost of 4.2. We're not going to be using all 6 cores with the PS2 emulator, but that single core performance really does matter with this emulator, and we're pegged out at about 4.1 GHz. Moving over to SimU, the Wii U emulator, got the Vulcan back end going here with the newer builds, 
It works great with these AMD cards, and if you're on one of these newer builds and lacking in performance, check the back end you're using. Definitely enable Vulkan for AMD GPUs, it makes a world of difference. So Wind Waker HD and Bayonetta 2 aren't that hard to run, and as you can see, the system's handling Bayonetta 2 just fine. We're at a constant 60 FPS. We do have that CPU on up there at 4 to 4.1 gigahertz pretty much all the time when you're using this Wii U emulator. But the CPU-GPU combination seems to do pretty well with the SimU emulator. However, pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. But I do have one more to test with this emulator, and that's going to be Breath of the Wild. And entrusted each to humanity's instincts. The right eye of life. And with the correct settings, it actually runs really well on this system. Now recently I did a super small form factor build using this same CPU, the Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX 1650. With that combo, I was getting better performance with this game here. Now it really comes down to using an NVIDIA GPU. I've always had much better luck using NVIDIA with emulators over AMD, but if you do go with the 5500 XT, just note that this is playable on a system like this. It's time for some PS3 emulation using RPCS3. Vulcan back in, the internal resolution is set to 1080p, Tekken 6, performance is really great with this emulator and this combo. And just like most of the other emulators I've tested in this video, performance really comes down to that CPU. And finally, for PS3, we have Skate 3, running at 1080p, 60fps. The developers of RPCS3 have been working hard on this, and in the last couple months, progress on the RPCS3 emulator has come a long way. This was pretty much unplayable about a year ago on my 5.1GHz 6-core CPU with a 2080 Ti. And finally, because I always have people ask, we have Red Dead Redemption with the Xenia emulator. This is an Xbox 360 emulator. This isn't very well optimized at all, and as you can see, we're not even hitting 30 FPS with it. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, PlayStation 1, SNES, NES, MAME, 
Naomi, a Thomas Wave, Dreamcast, N64, all of that stuff's going to run at full speed on this system, even at 4K. I was more interested in these newer, harder to run emulators, and as you can see, this system does handle it pretty well. Now, this wasn't specifically built for emulation. If it was, I probably would have went with an NVIDIA GPU, but I would have stuck with this 3600 just to keep the cost down. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're interested in checking out the build and how well this handles PC games, I will leave a link to that video in the description. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on this system, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.